So I've got this six wheel drive army truck and it's cheaper than dirt cheap. So we're gonna see how crappy this thing is gonna be. So I'm not gonna bore you with all the techno babble, so I'm gonna put a link down below to all the specifications and also where you can buy one from. So at first glance, it actually doesn't look that bad. So if we have a look underneath, it's got suspension on all three axles, the only leaf springs, no shocks, with six wheel drive, and it's actually got a proper servo. Normally these cheapos, they've either got full on or full off. Uh, the tires, feel like it's got a decent amount of squishiness to them and a lot of the time on these super cheap hose these drive shafts are kind of like just pushed on but these are actually bolted on so it looks like it comes with everything you need to get this thing to run so you get battery charger radio instructions and this canopy thing that you can clip onto the back so to charge it up you plug that into there and that into a usb so controller wise you do need to supply your own double a batteries and it takes three of them Guys, I'm beginning to like it more and more, and I'm hoping that when it comes to driving it, it's not gonna let me down. So the doors open up and there's a little bit of scale detail inside. This is where the battery goes up here. We've got a spare tire mounted up here. And once the battery's charged, then we're gonna go and give it a little blast. All right, we're all charged up. Battery's in, that's under here, look. Uh, wow. What? Guys, that is seriously quick, look. And it's also proportional. Normally, these cheapo cars, it's either full one way or full the other, but this, look. It's full proportional. Let's have a look at the power. So here we go, six wheel drive. So that's full power. And the same with this, proportional, so you can go slowly. And you can go fast, guys. These dirt cheap, previously crappy RC cars seem to be getting better. Oh, look, and we got headlights. Now I'm hoping it's not gonna be let down by being geared too highly. So let's first start off on a little hill climb and just see how far this thing can go up. So I've got this angle meter installed here. All right, here we go. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's grounding out on the front there. Maybe a bit of a run up. No. Nope. All right, more run up. Oh, we're up. Oh, we had a click. Probably asking a little bit much. Let's bring it down a little bit. Let's try 39 degrees. All right, here we go. It can do it. Yes. All right, I'm gonna swap you over to the GoPro so I can get some low down shots and we're gonna see what sort of obstacles this thing can get over. Thank <laughs> you. 
guys, I'm actually pretty impressed with this. I know it's dirt cheap. I know it's definitely sort of budget grade, but it did so much better than I first thought. Uh, when I first done the hill climb, it sounded like there was, a, there was a little click coming from underneath somewhere, and that might be one of the differentials, I don't know. So the differentials on this are open. If this had locked diffs, it would be a lot more capable. But guys, for the price, I mean, I can't complain. I'm gonna put a link to this thing down below. Um, it would have been nice if the gearing was a little bit lower. The top speed is relatively high for something that's supposed to crawl. So if it was geared just that little bit lower, it would have been a little bit nicer, I think, in my opinion. But all in all, guys, I mean, somebody's going to have fun with this. It might be a good beginner first RC car, maybe something you could give to a kid. You know, if I was 10 years old and somebody gave me this, I would be absolutely over the moon. All right, so if you click on one of these videos here, then I'll see you over there in a second.